Have you ever driven past a major construction project and seen cranes, concrete trucks, earth moving equipment, and multiple different trades all working at a million miles an hour? With so much going on, have you ever wondered how anybody could possibly monitor and control expenditure? Well, if you've answered yes to any of these questions, then this course is designed just for you. My name is Tim and I'm a project engineer with lots of experience on the design and construction of major infrastructure projects. I've been building short courses to teach the fundamental construction management skills to engineers and other construction management professionals. So far, we've had over a thousand students enroll in our courses. Each course is loaded with hours of content and practice activities to make sure you're equipped with the skills you need to excel at your job. This short course is an extract of our course on construction cost estimating and management, where we'll talk about earned value management and its application on construction projects. If you find this video interesting and useful, check out the link in the below description to our complete Udemy course on construction cost estimating and management. Before we understand the specifics of how to monitor and control construction project costs, We'll start off by going through a fundamental project management concept used as the, as the basis for construction cost management. By understanding earned value management, we'll understand how we control project costs and ultimately achieve our project budget objectives. Earned value management is the fundamental project cost management tool used in construction cost control. In this section, we'll provide an introduction to EVM go through an example, introduce the key terms, and look at variance analysis, and look at some other EVM topics outside the scope of this course you may find interesting and useful. Earned value management is a fundamental project management tool that integrates schedule, cost, and scope to measure project performance. It's an analysis of planned and actual values to predict how the project is performing and match it against the project baseline. The project baseline is our planned project performance and consists of both the schedule baseline, the original project schedule, showing all activities, linkages, and durations, and the cost baseline, our original project budget. Basically, through EVM, we'll compare what we planned on doing against what we are actually doing. It helps us to map works complete with costs, compare and benchmark planned and actual performance, identify lead indicators that flag problems early and allow us to put in co place corrective plans and actions and provide visibility and accountability. EVM is super simple, but with all the termino terminology, it, it can become more confusing than it needs to be. Therefore, to make it easier and simpler to understand and ultimately more digestible, we'll introduce EVM with an example to reinforce the key concepts. Let's imagine an imaginary construction project to install a new subsurface drainage line. The scope is to install two drainage pits and a 250 metre subsurface drainage pipe between them. We choose to deliver it by subcon subcontracting out the installation of the pits to a specialist subcontractor and self-performing the drainage pipe install. The work is anticipated to take two weeks, working Monday to Saturday and we have a budget of $84,600 to complete the works. On the right hand side, you can see how the budget is structured, with a subcontractor giving us a rate of $7,200 to install the two pits and our self-performed costs for the drainage install, with $45,000 for the drainage pipe supply and 12 shifts of a civil crew at $2,100 per shift for the pipe install. The project schedule shows work commencing on the 1st of March and the drainage trenching taking the full two weeks and each pit taking around one week. Let's look at how we can use earned value management to monitor and control project performance on this project. I've attached examples to the course notes of how to calculate all the different earned value management metrics. Let's now imagine we're halfway through our project. So we're now at the end of week one and we want to try and work out whether the project is going well or whether the project is going badly. So in terms of numbers, at the end of week one, we've installed one drainage pit and the second one is 75% complete. We've installed 95 meters of drainage pipe 
and we had one day of wet weather. Let's now look at calculating some objective measurements that tell us how the project is performing. We're going to work out our planned value, known as PV, our actual cost, known as AC, and our earned value, known as EV. Our planned value is the budgeted cost of the work forecast to be completed at a given point of time. So our PV will tell us how much work we planned on having completed by the end of week one. PV is calculated by multiplying our project budget by the percentage of planned work completed. This makes sense. All we are really calculating is what percent of our budget we had planned to spend given we had completed the work we had planned. Extending that, our total planned value will be equal to, to our budget. So considering we plan to install both drainage pits within eight days, our planned value is $1,800 per day. This is calculated by taking $14,400, our total budget for drainage pit install, and dividing it by eight, the number of days it takes to complete the task. So at the end of week one, our planned value will be $1,800 by seven days, equals $12,600. Our pipe install was planned at taking 12 days at a planned rate of $2,100 per day. So our planned value at the end of week one will be $2,100 per day multiplied by seven days. Our planned value is impacted by both our project budget and when we plan to complete the works, so our project schedule. Our actual cost will be the actual cost of the works completed, so how much we have actually spent to date on the project. This is easy to calculate and can be calculated by tracking all expenditure to date on the given scope of works. We do this through cost tracking, which we'll touch on in later sections. I've attached an example summary of costs incurred against each item for pit install, pipe install, pipe supply, and total actual cost. As we are using a subcontractor for the pit install, actual cost is calculated by just taking a percentage of each of the pit install amounts, factoring in a rain delay on day three, we had to pay the subcontractor. For pipe install, the actual cost adjusts the actual cost we paid for our civil crew. This varies slightly depending on fuel and consumables used and overtime amounts worked. And finally, actual costs of pipe supply is done by using the pipe supply rate and the amount of meters installed. Together, these give us a daily actual cost of the work completed and allow us to plot the summary of actual cost. You can see planned value is greater than actual cost, which intuitively might look like we've spent less than our budget. But as you'll see in the next section, this isn't a positive result for us. Our earned value is the budgeted cost of the work completed. Another way of thinking of this is what amount of our budget we have earned. Just because we are spending money doesn't necessarily mean we are getting work done. We may have spent $1 million, but we haven't completed. if we haven't completed any of our work, we can't exactly claim to be in a good financial position. Earned value is a super important metric to understand, as it's critical to understanding how well works are progressing. To calculate earned value, we multiply our original budget by the percentage of work actually completed. So for pipe install, we've installed, for, sorry, for pit, pit install, we've installed one pit and completed 75% of the second pit, meaning we've completed 88% of the overall scope. The earned value of the pit install is then $14,400 by 88% equals $12,600. For the drainage pipe install, we have completed 38% of our original budget, which was $70,200, meaning our earned value is 38% of this as $26,676. When we sum these together, we get an overall earned value of $39,276. Plotting this on the graph, we can see that earned value is significantly less than plan value. This is concerning. It means that based on our original plan, we were meant to have completed a lot more work by now. Also concerning is that our actual cost is greater than our earned value. This means we have spent more than our budget and more than we have earned, meaning by the time we complete the works, if we continue spending at the same rate, we will overspend our budget. As you can see, earned value management allows us to compare both our schedule and cost baseline against the actual project performance 
to get a realistic insight to how we're doing. If we just looked at plan value and actual cost, it might look like we were under budget. But as you can see, this underspending is being driven by not getting as much work done as we had planned. Now we've calculated our PV, AC and EV, we can analyse the difference between planned and actual performance in more detail. The two key metrics we'll calculate are schedule variance and cost variance. Schedule variance tells us how we are performing in relation to the schedule baseline, and cost variance tells us how we are performing compared to the cost baseline. Schedule variance is a quantitative indicator of variance from the schedule baseline. The schedule baseline was our original project schedule showing how we planned to complete the budget, uh, how we can plan to complete the project. Schedule variance, known as SV, is the difference between our earned value and our planned value. So how much work we've actually completed minus how much we said we would, com we would complete. For our project, SV is minus $6,624. So we've completed almost $7,000 less work than we said we would. As a pe percentage, we can divide schedule variance by the planned value and work out we're 14% behind schedule. Cost variance is a quantitative indicator of our di divergence from our cost baseline. So how much should we have spent and how much have we actually spent? This gives us an indication of our financial performance. CV is the difference between earned value and actual cost. We can see from our project that this is a negative $3,849, meaning we have overspent the budget by almost $4,000. As a percentage, we divide CV by our EV and we can see that we have overspent the budget by almost 10%. Cost variance and schedule variance are simple and quick calculations that we can make to present an actual accurate and objective figure as to project performance. We can objectively quantify how we are performing both in terms and in both in terms of time and money compared to how we originally said we would. Earned value management is a powerful tool and the ba basics of construction management cost control. It lets us paint a multi-dimensional picture of project performance both in terms of time and money. We can see our project we can see how our project performance compares to the original cost and schedule baseline. We only covered it briefly in this section, but there are many more indexes and analysis we could have done to give us more insights into how we were performing as a project. In the next section, we'll look more in depth at how to apply these learnings to both subcontractor and self-performed cost management.